In this video, I'm going to explain how Power PPM is taking advantage of ChatGPT and AI to help improve the everyday life for project managers. Let's quickly start off by going to the new tab or button and create a new project. We're going to give it a name, which could then be uh, AI Demo 456 and hit the save button. Next up, we then go to the timeline which is a tab right here. So clicking there quickly, we'll load the timeline and also the template picker that we have here. So first of all, we can always start from, from scratch. We can also select from predefined templates made by the company or the organization you work for. And you can also then click on start from AI, which is the brand new feature we, we have uh, in Power PPM. If you click here, you will see a text as an example. This could be extended. So you can write a long here a sentence or many sentences. One example could be, like the case here, that um, create a schedule that takes care of an ERP implementation uh, in uh, five phases with milestones, um, starting uh, mid-April 2023 and with 18 weeks of duration, like this. It was a little typo, but that doesn't matter in the AI world. And now it's going to try and suggest or create a proposal for a schedule based on what we just gave as input. Typically, this takes between 20 to 60 seconds, depending on how many inputs were given uh, in the dialog box. But as you can see now, let me just quickly expand to full screen. So now we've created an ERP implementation plan. It has the amount of phases we ask for, so one, two, three, three, four, and five. We also have some milestones for each phase. We have quite a lot of activities that are suggested, and we also get uh, the starting date being mid-April, as we explained it, and also the amount of weeks until it should be completed. It has also added a probability, in this case, for the duration that it has proposed. So what this essentially says is that it's pretty sure that defining project scope can be done within five days, Whereas in other areas, such as uh, developing customizations, is less uh, likely to be 25 days, which is this, proposing or proposing. So essentially, you get an AI probability score uh, that can be used also to, to see where you perhaps should go in and, and revisit or revise what AI has suggested to you. But this is a pretty useful example, and the inputs that you give can be anything. I've seen examples of uh, building solar plants or construction projects, uh, R&D projects following certain standards. And you can also add text such as, please base it on PRINCE2 and or uh, PMI and similar uh, things. So really useful and essentially for, for the juniors um, who have not that had that many years of experience, they can suddenly pull from the combined experience that's available um, online. Another example could be to go to the risk lock here and risks, as most are, are familiar with, is something that is often created already before the project is in execution. So here we are preloading uh, risks that we could potentially run into uh, and risks we have experience with from other projects and so forth. So rather than going here and click create each risk at a time, we could go here and click add AI generated risks. So once again, we are popping up this uh, text box where you can go in and write, as it says now, create five typical tech risks for an ERP upgrade. It could be something else, but let's try and write 10 instead. Uh, 10 uh, technology uh, risks for an ERP implementation uh, and five change management related risks. So 15 in total, let's see if it works. Generate. And now we have some risks down here. I haven't done a count, but I'm pretty sure it's 15 in total if we continue. So some risks here um, with a score in terms of probability and impact. And we also can just go to next and see the, the other risks that were generated by AI. So 15 in total. Um, you see them up here as well, uh, categorized based on where they are in the grid. Now you probably need to refresh the grid uh, in this case to just see them reflected uh, up here in the matrix, so here we go. So now we can see all the related risks uh, of different types, so 10 tech risks and five risks related to change management. And if I click here, 
it will filter out which of these risks we are looking at right now. And then you can do changes, of course, and adjust them, uh, explain how you want to mitigate them and so forth. But these were two very simple examples on how we use AI for schedule generation and preloading the risk logs. And you can, of course, think of this as just a starting point. And Project Team will continue to evolve with this uh, chat GPT movement that's, that's going on right now. Um, and there are so many, I would say, endless opportunities for improving um, what we can do with AI and PPM. So you can trust that Power PPM will be first when it comes to taking advantage of all these new great features and capabilities, uh, not just for the project managers, but for anyone working uh, with Power PPM.